At CES 2026, NVIDIA once again demonstrated that it has long moved beyond being a graphics card manufacturer, and today is effectively shaping the foundation for the future of the entire digital industry. This year, the company did not make loud consumer announcements, but if you look closely at what NVIDIA chose to show and what it preferred to communicate between the lines, it becomes clear that much larger plans are at play. The main focus was a new infrastructure for artificial intelligence, computing, and so-called physical AI. AI that operates not only in the cloud, but also in the real physical world. The company concentrated on next-generation platforms for data centers, autonomous systems, robotics, and human-machine interaction interfaces. At CES 2026, NVIDIA showcased the evolution of its next-generation computing platforms, emphasizing the integration of CPUs, GPUs, and specialized AI accelerators into a single ecosystem. This is not just about increasing performance, but about creating an architecture capable of training and running models that approach the complexity of human thinking. Special attention was given to robotics, autonomous transportation, and systems NVIDIA refers to as physical intelligence, where AI does not simply analyze data, but interacts with the real world through sensors, cameras, manipulators, and vision systems. However, the most intriguing developments at CES 2026 did not happen on stage, but behind the scenes. According to insiders and analysts, NVIDIA began cautiously hinting in its presentations and closed demonstrations at the development of an entirely new next-generation product. This reportedly involves the world's first truly AI-powered glasses with interactive control, which could represent the next step in the evolution of user devices. These are not just AR glasses or another screen in front of the eyes. The concept described by sources implies deep integration of artificial intelligence with the human user, where control is carried out not only through gestures and voice, but also through direct interaction with the nervous system. In terms of philosophy, this approach partially resembles Elon Musk's Neuralink, but with a fundamentally different goal. While Neuralink focuses on medical and neurointerface applications, NVIDIA's rumored solution is aimed specifically at interaction with digital devices and ecosystems. These could be glasses that effectively become an extension of the brain, a device that understands the user's intentions even before a gesture is made or a command is spoken. Control of gadgets, work environments, robots, and virtual interfaces could move to an entirely new level, where the smartphone screen simply becomes unnecessary. The company has not officially confirmed the existence of such a product or provided any timelines, but sources claim that work is already underway within NVIDIA's research divisions. And this makes sense. The company has everything it needs, its own AI models, neural simulations, advances in computer vision, gesture-based interfaces, and neural networks capable of operating in real time. Taken together, this gives NVIDIA a chance to create a device that could potentially compete not only with AR glasses, but with smartphones themselves, including the iPhone. At the same time, it is important to understand that such a technology carries not only revolutionary potential, but also serious risks. Any device that interacts so deeply with the human brain would require strict regulation, medical validation, and ethical oversight. For this reason, Analysts believe that even if prototypes already exist, the mass appearance of such AI glasses should not be expected in the near future. Regulators, governments, and the scientific community will be extremely cautious about developments of this kind. Nevertheless, the very fact that NVIDIA, one of the world's largest technology giants, has potentially embarked on the development of such a product speaks volumes. CES 2026 showed that the company is no longer just a supplier of hardware for AI. NVIDIA is gradually becoming the architect of future interfaces between humans and machines. And if these plans are truly realized, we may be standing on the threshold of the largest technological transformation since the advent of the smartphone. We continue our coverage from CES 2026 there are especially many strange gadgets at the exhibition this year. The startup Zero has developed the W1 robot, which suspiciously resembles Wall-E, 
the company sells a licensed version with a Disney design in China, while for the US, it has created a nameless cousin priced at $5,600. W1 moves on tracks, can handle grass and gravel, weighs 20 kilograms, and can carry up to 50 kilograms of cargo. It navigates using LiDAR, cameras, and sensors. For now, the functions are basic. It carries items, follows its owner, takes photos, and can even act as a host for board games. Nearby, a second robot was also showcased, the compact humanoid companion M1. It communicates using Gemini, sets reminders, monitors the home, and can even fall and get back up. The battery lasts about two hours, after which the robot returns to the charger on its own. Pre-orders in the US for both devices are promised to open in the first quarter of this year. And judging by everything, the robot trend is only just beginning, because CES even showcased a charger that turns an iPhone into a robot. The phone literally comes to life, looks at its owner, and communicates while standing on a table. LG continues the robot parade, bringing its household assistant robot Cloyd to the exhibition. It prepares breakfast, cleans, and can even provide support during workouts. When it will be released, and at what price has not been disclosed. The funniest one is the AI OLED bot, a robot with a screen instead of a face, proposed for use in universities to display schedules and guide students. A screen is more convenient than voice in noisy environments. And there were also retro speakers in the form of a cassette player and a vinyl turntable, but with displays and AI recommendations. For now, these are concepts, but as demonstrations of capabilities, they look impressive. Against this backdrop, another trend logically emerges. The smart frame market is only beginning to take shape, and judging by CES 2026, in the coming years our walls will be filled with screens that constantly change. Framic presented Smart Canvas, an AI-powered frame display designed to hang on a wall instead of a painting. You say what you want to see, and the built-in AI generates the image. You can also upload your own pictures. The screen imitates canvas texture. The battery lasts for years. Two sizes are available, a standard one for $400 and a large one for $1,000. Pre-orders are already open, with delivery expected from June. A miniature copy of the Las Vegas Sphere was presented by SwitchBot, called Oboto. It is a tabletop AI lamp that can show the weather, work as an alarm clock, display emotions, animations, GIFs, and entire moods. Inside are nearly 3,000 LEDs. And if you suddenly pick up a guitar, Obato can sync with the music for light effects. In real life, however, it will most likely be used as white noise, exactly for the same purpose people use to simply turn on the TV. The price is around $250. Pre-orders are already open. And today's CES 2026 hit parade ends with something unexpected. Vacuum cleaner manufacturer Dream showcased the electric supercar Nebula. 1,876 horsepower, acceleration from 0 to 100 km per hour in 1.8 seconds, four electric motors, and active aerodynamics. It sounds like a supercar presentation rather than a home appliance brand. Dream is already building a factory in Berlin and promises a production version by 2027. Hexagon, with support from NVIDIA, has introduced the industrial humanoid robot Aeon, which, thanks to training in the NVIDIA Isaac virtual environment, masters tasks in two to three weeks instead of months. The robot performs assembly, quality inspection, and 3D scanning, transmitting data to the Hexagon Reality Cloud to create digital twins. Equipped with the NVIDIA Groot AI platform and a computer vision system, Aeon can work side-by-side -side with humans and continuously improve its skills. 
Its design is adapted for operation in demanding environments. It features a fast battery swap system for 24-7 operation and can reach speeds of up to 8.6 km per hour, easily maneuvering between machines. This makes it a full-fledged digital employee that takes on the most complex and monotonous tasks, allowing companies to scale production faster without sacrificing quality. Write in the comments what you like the most after watching this video. Subscribe to the Caro Show channel so you don't miss the next episodes. Bye for now!